Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, just like his dad right next to me. David, thank you very much. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Orlando, they're still struggling, trying to string something together, getting a lot of wins. The competition, though, so tough. And the starting group for the Spurs. The guard pair, Murray and White. Young is out there with McDermott, and it's Johnson in at the three spot. And for Orlando, Suggs out there with Anthony. Then there's Carter. Then there's Wagner. And it's Bamba in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. For those teams, Greg, that had head coaching changes, how long does it take to fully implement a new system? Well, it, it typically takes a full season, and, and it also depends just on how complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. Now here's White. White a screen on Anthony. And Young kicks to White. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Well, he might not be a pure shooter, but he's a very steady one. I like that they're getting White something in rhythm here. The pass to Bamba. Over Young. That one wide left. And so Young will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Pass to Murray. Pass to Young. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Carter. Murray against Anthony. Knocked loose. Carter dishes to Anthony. Just five on the clock. Passes it to Suggs. Shoots over White. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Wendell Carter Jr. Poked away. And so here's Orlando. Shot clock at six. The pass to Bamba. An easy two points on the lead. He's a very effective scorer from there. Bamba's excellent at using his size to his advantage. Just over a minute and a half played here in this. Well, one of us here knows Cole Anthony quite well. <laughs> the guy to my side here, Greg, is uh, Dan. Care to share with us a story about your son playing hoops growing up? Well, I, I tell you one thing. He's always had that belief, that inner belief in his, himself and his abilities. And that's something that started early on in his life. And honestly, that's when I knew he had a chance to be a really good player. Here's McDermott following the score by Mohamed Bamba. Murray against Anthony. Murray, no good. Magic have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Anthony taking his time here. Carter sets the pick for Anthony. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Young pass to Murray. Back to Young. That one go. Just count it. Young is often overmatched because he's not as big as other power forwards, but he still finishes inside at a high rate. Anthony finds Carter. Bamba with it. And here is Suggs. Bamba inside. He's covered by Murray. In transition, here come the Spurs. Here's White. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. It's on Jalen Suggs. It didn't take long for White to distinguish himself in the league. He's a really good ball handler, and 
He has some good moves, too. And like a lot of young players, Clark, White's consistency on offense is tethered to his jump shot. Yeah, in many ways it is, Kevin. He's strong off the dribble. He likes to get to the basket, but he needs to refine that jump shot to set up his drive a little bit. The Spurs also changing it up. Eubanks, he's checked in for Young. And it's Vassell in for Doug McDermott. And both free throws good for White. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Hampton kicks to Wagner. Pass to Hampton. Pass to Ross. Passes it to Lopez. Ross trying to break loose. Yep, that one goes. Ross has earned his reputation as a team first guy. Excellent at distributing the ball. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Johnson surveying the floor. Vassell, the pass to Walker. No good on the three. Magic have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Hampton with the ball. And there's the pass to Ross. Five on the clock. Pass to Hampton. Releases. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. Third is Robin Lopez. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. First free throw is good. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for White. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. San Antonio leading. Here's Forbes. That's tipped. Great play by Ross. I mean, using that bouncing ability at the defensive end, love it. Here's Hampton. Wagner kicks to Hampton. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Johnson, the pass to Eubanks. Here is Forbes. Johnson, wide open, he fires. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Now, Hampton, pass to Ross. Shoots over Walker. That's the end of the first quarter, and not much scoring. It remains close. Spurs lead by one. 2K Sports. Back in a moment from the Amway Center. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on. Well, Thaddeus Young in his 15th season in the league, he's remained a key piece, and he breaks down what he brings to the table. Come on, get down. Going out there and being the energy guy, going out there and getting those extra possessions, going out there and scoring the basketball, just putting every aspect of the game into perspective and just uh, playing through it. Right, there's an argument to be made that he was his most efficient in 2021. I mean, just stuffing the stat sheet. Points, rebounds, assists, steals, blocks, you name it. That is young, like he said, can do a little bit of everything. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. 
And looking at what we've seen from the Spurs so far, guys, what do you think? It just They've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. Yeah, this is how you can keep a crowd quiet, though. I mean, methodically score at the line and take some of that energy away from the fans. They don't like to have the action stop in the opposing team scoring. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court right now for the Spurs, Murray and Walker are the guards. Doug McDermott is out there with Young. And it's Vassell in at the small forward. Here is Ross, following the score by DeJounte Murray. Ross passes to Carter. Plays it up off the glass. Carter's got his first points of the night. And Greg, some star big men have complained that they get hacked all game long. But they're not getting the foul calls these guards do on the perimeter. I have to agree. <laughs> I mean, and on a lot of those fouls, the guards get three free throws. So something the league might want to take a look at trying to balance things out. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Fifth and fewest turnovers. Seventh in rebounds. And they closed out the season in the top half in terms of second chance points. I'm sure they'd like to be a little higher, but at least it wasn't a weakness. And, Greg, what stands out to me the most is their turnover ranking. Super they were two. never careless with the ball. Never played out of control. And he knocks down the first one. And Orlando making a change here. Bombas checked in. Good on both. The Magic trail by three. Bamba a screen on Murray. Anthony, the pass to Carter. Bamba controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boy, Bamba really a dogged rebounder despite his slight frame. He's got great length and time and his intensity is really impressive. Now here's McDermott. Boy, he just disappeared against Dallas when they needed him the most. The shot by Primo, no good. The Magic have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter. And the call will be against Thaddeus Young. That's his first foul. The Spurs making a switch here. Lights checked in. Derek White. Kicks to Anthony. Orlando moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. Rebound by Murray. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Craig, talk about a guy who plays with competitive fire. Suggs is a powerful leader, but by example. Yeah, I mean, this guy plays with such great strength and energy. And he makes great decisions. Really has an advanced understanding of the game for his age. Now, here's Wagner. Following the miss by DeJounte Murray. So they take the lead. Wagner's got the lead up to one now for Orlando. Put in his height to great use there. Feeling out the situation and then hitting from mid-range. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Young, no good. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, Kevin. It's ironic that while the league took refuge in Orlando to complete the 2020 season, the Magic has had no reprieve from the rash of injuries that affected its top young players the last few years. This team is well coached and plays hard. Hopefully their fortunes will change comes to help. Guys. All right, David, thank you. And it's slammed in by Young. Boy, you've got Murray running the pick and roll. The timing is going to be right on time every time. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. And it will be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Victory eluded them last time in San Antonio when they took on the Spurs. Well, they made a few key shots. 
shots, but missed oh, look many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Robin Lopez is checked in for Muhammad Bamba. Mo Wagner comes in for Wendell Carter. Okiki's checked in for Wagner. And Hampton subbed in for Anthony. At seven feet tall, dunking is very easy for Lopez. Once he's this deep, the defense is in trouble. Here is Forbes. No points in the game yet for him. 56 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Primo. Lopez covering. The shot by Primo, no good. Orlando, they've gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Hampton kicks to Lopez. Passes it to Okiki. And it's off from three-point range. San Antonio trailing here. Primo, the pass to Forbes. Here's the pass to Eubanks. Now Johnson. Pass to Forbes. Shoots over Wagner. Forbes can't get it to go. That's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Orlando out in front. They lead by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop in a close game. What makes the difference in the second half? Lots of things, you know. It's a game of mistakes. It's a game of playing well. Who knows? Always love your philosophy, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Hi folks, it's shaping up to be a good second half as we've seen the Orlando Magic trying to take control of this game. I like what they've done on the glass. Boxing out, reacting quickly, playing with an aggressive attitude. They set a physical tone, but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate. We'll see if this rebounding dominance can extend into the second half. Shifting gears, let's look at the upcoming schedule. The slate absolutely gets your attention. No easy games. But this could bring out the best in the team. It's a measuring stick on how far they've come. And, how and that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for Orlando. It's a one-point game. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. And that'll be the middle game of their five and their longest homestand of the year. They've got Wagner. Suggs out there with Anthony. Then there's Carter. And it's Bamba in at the second. This is out there for Orlando. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And both free throws good for Anthony. Spurs trail by three. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Bamba against Murray. Bamba with the block. Guys, that's all athleticism and timing. Bamba, a terrific shot blocker because he uses the physical tools he has quite well. Now here's Anthony. Fades away. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Carter's got the lead up to five now for the match. 
White bounce pass. Austin Murray. Pamba with the block. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Now we get a chance to check out Thaddeus Young. Last year, getting it done. He was around 12 points per game last year. Six rebounds and four assists. And always nice to have a guy like him who can really defend at a high level coming off the bench. You know, when you can sub in a lockdown defender, that's a major plus. Ross is checked in for Orlando. Shot clock at five. The 11-footer. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Magic leading by five. Pass to Carter. Plays it up and banks it in. Carter's got four points in the quarter. Carter did this against high-level college competition. Consistently showcased the ability to score efficiently. The Spurs have gone over five to the start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. White kicks to Murray. Here's Young. Oh, and that dunk by Young. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's Bamba following the bucket by the Spurs. Knocks it loose. The pass to Wagner. Lock at six. Goes up to the strike. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baiting him into it. I guess the shot he wants, the defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. And one of Johnson's teammates recently called him country strong. And Johnson himself acknowledged he has a lot of room to get even stronger. That is scary. Now, here's some. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Five to shoot. Ross passes the court. And then Carter with the dunk. Just a real solid understanding of how to exploit the defense. Carter Jr. impressive at positioning himself in these situations. Time. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on and get loud. Please. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group. Robin Lopez is checked in for Bamba. Mo Wagner comes in for Carter. Okiki's checked in for Wagner. And Hampton subbed in for Suns. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Eubanks, he's checked in for Young. Vassell comes in for Doug McDermott. Bonnie Walker, he's checked in for Derek White. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Murray. Spurs trail by four. Okay, time now for an injury report. Let's find out the news on Cole Anthony. David, what's the update? Hey, guys, the Magic's head athletic trainer gave me an update. He's got an injury to his elbow, specifically his elbow joint, and it looks like it's a pinched nerve. Obviously, they can't afford to lose him. This would be devastating for this team. Kevin? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Now here's Ross. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Wagner. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Forbes, the pass to Vissel. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Magic leading by four. 109 left in the third quarter. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. 
Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Here's Okiki. To the middle. Here's Wagner. Banked in off the glass. Wagner's got his first bucket of the night. Tell you what, guys, the aggressiveness on defense just hasn't been there this half. Not like it was in the first. 51 seconds left in the third. Vazell, the pass to Walker. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And last season, he was successful. 81% of the time when he went to the line, so he didn't waste a lot of opportunities. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they couldn't have asked for too much more from him when it came to knocking down free throws. No good on that one. Anthony's checked in for Orlando. The second free throw, good. Here's Anthony. A rebound by the Spurs. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Feeds it to Forbes. Pass to Eubanks. Now here's Johnson. He's defended by Wagner. Johnson can't hit. Passes to Okiki. Back to Anthony from downtown. Doesn't go that time. And we've reached the end of the third. Magic lead by five. 2K Sports back in a moment from the Amway Center. And now, a sneak peek into the huddle with Greg Popovich. Nobody holds the ball. Not even 1,001. You catch it. It's a shot. It's a drive or pass. Whatever you got. Specific instructions from Greg Popovich. If you don't have a clean look, you don't have an open lane, move the ball. Yeah, and the key is fast decision-making. And that takes great recognition from all five guys in terms of communication. That, that's really what we call chemistry. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. On the floor for San Antonio, the guard pair, Murray and White. Young is out there with McDermott, and it's Walker in at the three, the small forward. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their pass. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assists. Here's Murray after the made shot from Cole Anthony. And Murray, here we go. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's really hard to stop Murray there. I mean, with his size, mobility, and speed, sometimes the defense is just forced to make an adjustment. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Orlando. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've also been pounding it inside tonight and coming away with a lot of points in the paint. I call those PIPs. Free throw good, Murray. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line, not missing their chances when they get them. So Murray nails both of them. You know, you look at the potential Murray has, and it's um, exciting, quite honestly. He's a um, lead guard. He plays the point, but he's more of a scorer than a distributor at this point. Now, here's Wagner. Count it good. Anthony's got the lead up to seven now for the Magic. 
I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Wendell Carter Jr. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Spurs, Doug McDermott. Two shots. The free throw drops from McDermott. Doug McDermott, a solid teammate because he embraces whatever his team asks of him and he's a consistent perimeter threat. Terrence Ross has checked in for Muhammad Bamba. And McDermott drops them both. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Poke loose. Young with the steal. Walker in the corner. Taken away by Anthony. The pass to Suggs. Shoots over McDermott. Here's Carter. Makes it off the glass. And the Magic lead by seven. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Anthony kicks to Ross. Good ball movement here by the Magic. They set the pick. And that one is good from Suggs. Suggs has got the lead back up to seven now for the Magic. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's McDermott. Jalen Suggs making his last shot. Pulls it from the elbow. Ross grabs the board. Orlando leading by seven. Carter dishes to Suggs. Kicks to Anthony. Young against Carter. For three, Ross. Offensive rebound. And then Carter with the dunk. Right there. Big Carter using his instincts and his motor to track down the miss and convert it into second chance points. That's just really good work. Now here's Murray. The feed to Young going to go that time. Good work defensively by Carter. Suggs in the corner. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Spurs trail by nine. Walker the pass to McDermott. And it's Wagner with the rebound. The Magic have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Suggs kicks to Wagner. To Suggs. Shot clock at six. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Here's Carter. Shoots over White. And it's Carter missing. The Spurs have gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Murray against Carter. Outside for Murray. Carter pulls it in. Magic leading by nine. Carter with a screen on Murray. Here's Suggs. Ross passes to Carter. Pass to Wagner. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And no good. White wide open. He fired. Here's Young. It's deflected. Now here's Ross. To the inside. Harden. Rebound by Murray. And San Antonio has possession. They trail by nine points. And it's White missing. Murray against Anthony. And 
so it's Orlando winning this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Wendell. A big performance on the boards tonight. Did you expect to dominate like that coming into the game? No, I did. I just wanted to come out and help my team any way I could. So, you know, rebounds or not, I did what I had to do to have the team win. You were a big part of it tonight, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Wendell Carter.